You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash, everyone. I'm Jonathan Jackson, and joining me at the desk this week is Justin Zatkoff. He's a member of the Governor's Council on Physical Fitness, Health, and Sports, an associate attorney at Dickinson Wright, and a fairly new resident to our area here in West Bloomfield. So, Justin, I'm glad to have you on the show today. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. Not a problem. So, tell me a little bit about yourself, Justin. Are no. you, uh, you're on the Michigan Governor's Fit Physical Fitness Council. Yep. Um, you know, how did that, you know, happen? <laughs> yeah, well, I have had uh, a lifelong passion for physical fitness, sports um, and and just really living a, a healthy way of life. Um, some years are better than others. <laughs> uh, some days are better than others. Right, the motivation and the <laughs> right. to get up and right. do it. Right, yep. exactly. But, uh, uh, you know, I've, you never feel better when, when, you're, when you're living an active lifestyle. Um, both what I do as an attorney, when I work out in the morning, I always feel <laughs> I always have a more productive day mm. um, and just, just uh, you, emotionally, you, f you feel better. You feel more accomplished. Um, yeah, the act of physical, mm -hmm. you know, activity helps. You know, your blood pump yep. and your muscles. Yep. You know, gets your brain going up right. in the morning. And right, and it, it. I guess it really started in high school. I, I went to Brother Rice High School okay. um, over in, in, in Bloomfield Township, and I, I ran uh, track there. I ran cross country. I played football, um, and and from there, I have just always tried to maintain that. Uh, that, that running shape that I'm that I'm in, okay. um, and at at some point I became aware of this governor's council on on physical fitness. Uh, I submitted I actually submitted an application twice for it. Mm. Um, there are 15 members from around the state, and the second time I submitted an application, I I re We're received approved. a call from the from the governor's office okay. asking me if I would be willing to to serve in the capacity and I w was was thrilled. So and I'm, for those curious at home, what does that entail? What is What are some of your duties in, on the council? Yeah, so uh, the governor's council uh, basically has a mission um, to make, uh, to improve and increase physical activity in the state. Okay. Um, so we, as a council, the, the, the procedural step is we get together um, every so often and, and meet okay. um, and, and, and brainstorm of ways that we can do that. Um, now we work closely with an organization called the Michigan Fitness Foundation, which is kind of the 501c3 operational entity um, that, that really partners, we have, you know, we partner with, with nine different governmental agencies. I think uh, I wrote some notes down. I think oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I think we have about 800 other partners in the state from businesses to, um, to you know, local units of government um, to, to work on a variety of programs yeah. uh, that, that go directly to our, our, our goal. Um, so one of those programs I, I, I took a note on is, is uh, uh, the Safe Routes to School program, yeah. where, you know, as a council, we're not necessarily, um, we're not necessarily uh, it, raising the funds directly, um, we're working with local school districts like the city of Detroit uh, school district to determine, okay, how can you get a safe route within two square miles of every school in the district? Mm -hmm. How can you make it safe for students to walk uh, or bike into school. Very important. I mean, yeah. you know, especially kids, you know, they sometimes don't look when they cross the street or, you know, yeah. it's good to have crossing guards out to be, keep that safety and that protection there, you yeah. know, and even here in West Bloomfield, I know our kids too, crossing yeah. the street and safety and, uh, you know, they're very active. So, you know, it's just good it, to have that always in mind. It, know, so. it is. And that's, and that's one of, that's just one example of, of many programs that we try to provide operational support mm -hmm. on um, uh, the are you familiar with the Iron Bell Trail uh, no not okay actually, no. so the Iron Bell Trail is another program that we're we're kind of taking the lead on um, that is a trail that it's a it's actually two different trails it's a it's a trail that basically runs from Bell Isle to Ironwood, Michigan, oh, and there's wow. there's two different trails. I think it's actually so it's it's uh, some numbers for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's a it's a 1,273 mile hiking trail. Mm. 
a 791 mile bike trail. Ooh. It encompasses 48 counties in the state, uh -huh. 83 cities and towns, and 351 townships. Oh man, I'm tired just. <laughs> <laughs> so, so someone, so so someone has to kind of take the lead. And mm. how do we make this a cohesive trail? And that's where the governor's council um, really steps in and makes yeah, it into a yeah right and makes it a, you know working with. Um, you know, there's there's federal grant money available, state grant money available for for local townships and cities, to to pave their portion of the trail and connect it to others. That's great, Justin. Yeah. Glad to hear. It. Thanks. Well, one more question before you go. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know you're a marathon runner, a triathlon athlete. Do you yeah. ever get out here in West Bloomfield? Any trails or areas you like so to uh, practice I, on? You know, I my wife and I we just moved in to our house uh, uh, on Labor Day weekend. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So I'm still exploring, but I uh, I have a route around my house, mm -hmm. um, but. But I've been looking on the West City of West or Township of West mm -hmm. website website yeah. for I think there's like a nature preserve yes, right mm -hmm. right by the house. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking forward to to exploring that some more. All right. Well, yeah. Justin, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate yeah. you coming by, telling me a little bit about what you do, and uh, so glad to hear more about Michigan Physical Fitness. So, Great. Everyone, thanks again to Justin for joining me on the program. And, of course, guys, remember, stay active, keep fit, and get outside because there's still plenty of uh, good weather left you know, Absolutely. for us to get out and enjoy until the winter comes. So Absolutely. thanks again, Justin. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3 The Lakes FM.